end. Sir Sagril has fallen. Sagril, slayer of Ozigan, defender of the crown of Haxi, has been defeated. A death in the House of Ballads gives an opportunity, a chance for one hero to join the ranks of the greatest champions in fay-telling. Olaine, Kreff, Wenson the Bold. Do you, do any of you, have the courage to pass the confirmation? If you do, your adventures will be sung to the heavens for all eternity. What do you want? This does not concern you, mortal. You would not, could not, understand. One of our most beloved heroes has fallen. Sir Sagril's passing leaves his legend in peril. A seat in the House of Ballads cannot remain empty, lest the great stories end. And that must never happen. You are bold, but that is not how tales are told in the House of Ballads. Only a worthy fey hero may finish his quest, complete his story. However, these are strange times. Magic weaves itself in new patterns and change. It is the one thing with which we fey have no experience. If you so choose, join the other pledges. You too may attempt to defeat the Grave Thresh, recover Sagril's ring, and take his seat in the House of Ballads. The lair of the Thresh is east of this great house, in the hollow of Gorgoth. In the evenings after dark, you can hear its disturbed slumber. The cries are unsettling. It is a popular tale, featuring the summer court's most treasured rogue. One afternoon, Sagril, his head sleepy with wine and dreams of women, awoke to a terrible roar. The treacherous maid of Windermere, villain of the House of Ballads, was summoning forth a beast from beneath the earth. She wished to send it against Wenson himself. When the maid departed, Sagril tread into the beast's lair and killed it, only to realize that it was simply the first of many deadlier enemies. What a song! We are the soldiers of summer, the guardians of the light of spring. When our cousins in the winter court celebrate the darkening of the skies, we revel in the dawn. However, our cycle is changing. Everyone has noticed the fires on the sea, the monsters in the east, and the whispers on the lips. The summer court is in decline. For many seasons, the court of winter ruled alongside us as allies. There is no spring without the cool decay of autumn, no bright summer without the snow. Yet, even as our power wanes, theirs is mysteriously on the rise. Surely, you have felt it. I am Hallam the White. Seeker of the Stone of Val, Baron of the Drowned Forest, Slayer of Argoth the Mighty, and Chamberlain to the House of Ballads. Many in the House of Ballads call me the Storyteller, for I watch over the Summer Court's anthology of experience. Go now and make the song your own.
Glynel. I assure you it's an ancient codex, just like in the tales. Intriguing. And why would such a thing be revealed to a child of dust? And here I was beginning to think that you'd never show up. This is Glynel, Lore Master of the House of Ballads. Give the Codex over to him, and he may have your answers. Lore Master Glyonal has devoted centuries to the study of lore and ancient fae stories. The Codex you found isn't just any lore stone. Just talk to him, and I'm sure he'll be able to shed some light on the issue. I'm a woman of many talents, and we're all taught that we must use our talents for the greatest good, right? Be on your way. You must be Lady Shear's friend. He speaks very highly of you. An occasion rare enough to be worth recording in its own right. But let's see this codex. The Fable Codex of Destiny. When the Fate Weavers formed their order, a High King gave his own wisdom to assist them. To have such knowledge in your hands is a tremendous gift, but why did it reveal itself to you? Nonsense. All children of dust have a story that is written before you see your first dawn. Now, I can only make out some parts, but this is odd. The Codex speaks of an exception, a void, an end to the endless. This is simply too much. The High King would never pawn such absurdity off as wisdom. I'm sure you think it is. I fear you must have been taken in by a forgery. A perfectly created one, perhaps, but a forgery nonetheless. But this Codex speaks of impossible things. Changes to fate, death of the immortals and other heresies. To ascribe these lies to the High King would be... I'm sorry, but I must ask you to take it away. I will have no part in these lies. Is there a meaning to it? Only its author could tell you. Do not bother me with such foolishness again. Lionel spends his life cherishing old stories, but show him something truly new, and he dismisses it. Tragic. First of all, we ignore this fool. Most Fae aren't comfortable with change, and you are certainly something new. I'm afraid that only one person will really be able to help us with the Codex. The High King himself. It will be difficult. His court is in the city of Issa. Very few mortals are permitted in its gardens. I do know one individual who can grant you permission to enter, but you'll have to meet him alone. Nirolem is a private person. And he carries a grudge against me. Although perhaps person isn't the right word for him. Nor is him. You'll find him in southeast Dallantoth at Cair Nirolem. Just head towards the giant tree. And, well, you'll see. You'll have to meet him on your own. I'd accompany you. But Nirolem and I have our disagreements. Good luck with Nirolem, and ignore anything he says about me. Hello, Mo. Welcome to the Summer Sanctuary, where the seeds of knowledge are sown and nurtured. I see you are a stranger and a mortal. I am green, and I possess the healer's warmth. Do you have need of my services? Have you been injured in your mortal war? Farewell.
Good day. How can I help you? You are the mortal I've been hearing about. How dare they say you're meek? Why, to me, you look as fierce as a troll. The songs of the House of Ballads are not simply stories. They are part of the magic that unites us all, summer and winter alike. They move through us like the seasons. There are some who believe our time of glory is on the decline, that our ballads will fade into mortal history like whispers. I say, never underestimate a good story. I will be here waiting. Yes, I have a moment I can spare for you.
good day. 